Yo guys, what is up? Uh, I was going to say welcome back to some Zero Hour, but not quite some Zero Hour today. Today is an, actually an unboxing and some super exciting stuff going on on this channel at the moment. And this is one of the, the most exciting videos I've ever made. So um, uh, you remember we did a big free-for-all a few weeks ago. It was the first big one we did for $100 one game. You know, the really epic one that went for basically like one hour. Shortly after that, a guy called Marcus added me basically on Discord. Now, people add me on Discord all the time. And usually it's fakes or it's scams or people just spamming me stuff and usually end up blocking him. But this particular guy got me interested. He basically said he was from Asus and he'd been watching my videos and it even inspired the Asus team in the Nordics to actually host um, a LAN in their own office in, in Asus as far as I understood it. And they actually used my videos or this guy, Marcus. The marketing director has basically used some of my videos to improve um, at Zero Hour to help him win at the LAN party. And that's super, super epic. At first I thought... It's quite unbelievable because just a random person added me on Discord, but it turns out it's completely true. And as a result, um, yeah, this guy Marcus from the uh, the Nordics office and Asus sent me this um, this package. Which, uh, if you're following on YouTube, which I'm sure you are, you would have seen this community post. So a massive shout out to them. They've sent me so much. I've just literally added it up the the stuff that they've um, th that they've sent me, and in total, it equates to something like 795 pounds worth of stuff, which is like one point. Uh, almost 1.1k in dollars, uh, $1,067, taking the Amazon prices as they are today on 16th of November. But yeah, without further ado, we're just going to get straight into this unboxing. It is done with my GoPro, and as you can see there, I've got this kind of weird contraption, and I actually stacked two of these on top of each other to get the right angle. So it's my first unboxing, but honestly, this is super, super exciting, so check this out. Okay, now, so here we go. We're actually on the GoPro sound now, so I probably sound quite a lot different than I do on my, uh, just waving this knife around, actually. <laughs> uh, probably sound quite a lot different than I do on my uh, professional mic. Not sure how the GoPro sounds. So uh, yeah, we can see it's got Scandinavian photo, whatever that means. We know it's from, uh, we know it's from Asus. It did say, obviously my address and stuff here, but I've pulled that off so I don't want to show my address and I don't want to show Asus's address. So let's get into this. Now I do know, I'm trying to open it without actually hitting the, uh, hitting the camera or nudging the camera. So I do know what's in this, but still, it's always super exciting. Even if, even if I ever order something like, um, off Amazon and you know full well what it is. It's always fun getting it, but never mind when it's like a, a gift off a company like Asus. Been watching the streams, <laughs> watching the gaming, learning the tutorials, how to play Zero Hour and stuff. Okay, so we've got some pretty high-end expensive gear in here. So uh, I'll get rid of that. Now the GoPro screen has gone off. I'm hoping it's still recording. I'm hoping you can still hear me. I'm hoping my voice sounds all right. This is all completely raw. Okay, so what have we got? We have Republic of Gamers Sheath Black Limited or BLK Limited, the stage for the ultimate battle. So this is like a basically top end mouse pad, as good as mouse pads get. You probably think, oh yeah, it's just a mouse pad, but actually some of the surfaces and being non-slip and stuff like that is really, really good. So that's the ROG Sheath, which is, I think, I think it's literally the best mouse pad they do. Now, I don't know if I'll be using that myself because my one is actually slightly bigger and I do like a bit of size. Everyone likes a bit of uh, bit of girth. So then we've got ROG Gladius 3 Wireless. I will need to test this and see if I'm gonna swap my existing mouse for it because whenever you, whenever you change to a different mouse, it's like, it's gonna take you a while to, um, to adjust to it. And also wireless. I've always stuck with a wire. It would be a big change for me to go to wireless because I've, when I've had one in the past, maybe 10 or 15 years ago, when I used to have wired, uh, sorry, wireless. Um, sometimes I've had things interfere in the signal or sometimes you can't, um, you press too many keys at the same time and it overwhelmed it. I probably had a big cheap one back then. It probably was nowhere near <laughs> the level of technology and stuff we've got now. So that's an ROG Gladius 3 wireless gaming mouse, 2.4 gigahertz, Aura Sync. I mean, yeah, it's another one of the best products that they do, Asus. Okay, so taking a look at the headphones then, we've got the Republic of Gamers Delta S RGB Quad DAC gaming headset. High res audio, 
TeamSpeak certified, Discord certified, and if you can see that, PlayStation support. It says there we've got the Game Design Award, sorry, De Design Award 2019, Republic of Gamers. You've got this iconic light up thing. I think there was a, a, a LAN party in Dubai a couple of years ago, or a few years ago now, maybe even five years ago now. Time does fly. I think it was quite a long time ago. The size and rage when Google was there. I remember seeing the pictures and videos and stuff, and um, I'm sure a load of them were wearing those style headphones. I don't know if it was their own personal ones or it was the ones the LAN party gave them. I'm assuming it was the ones that the LAN gave them. And um, uh, yeah, it's just like quite an I iconic thing to have the uh, to have the neon thing there. Or the RGB thing, rather. Um, okay, so straight away it looks high quality. Wow, that feels really nice, actually. Even here, the first thing you notice is the, the quality of that. I'm guessing that's not real leather. I'm guessing it's faux leather. I think that's how you say it. Um, but regardless, that is super, super soft. And then here as well. And one thing you don't realize is one thing you probably don't think about when you get a pair of headphones is how light they are. And that is super, super light. One thing actually that has already come out, I did just take that already out. It does say um, uh, that on it, Republic of Gamers it was basically designed and tested by professional gamers to immerse you fully into every thrilling experience. So yeah, that, that was actually on top of there. But even the quality of that, the quality of the packaging, you can feel the grooves in it and stuff and it feels really, really nice. Yeah, that is super, super light and USB-C actually. So that's a new one. I've not, I don't think I've seen a USB-C um, type of headphones before, but maybe, maybe that's the new style thing. Typically I've always strayed away from USB connected headphones, like the normal USB. It is, is that called USB-C or Type-C? I always get confused with the different types, but I think that's C or is it mini USB? I always get confused. But yeah, normally the big USB ones, I've steered away from them, had issues with them before, but I'm guessing these, these are just fine. I just need to learn about what that DAC is and learn how to use them properly, but they feel so light and just the material and everything is so smooth and so nice. Um, that's like, instead of a scroll wheel, it's actually just a tap to, uh, or like you scroll it once to notch it up and down. And I guess you press it in to mute it. And then there's a light bulb there, not sure what that is. I guess maybe that, oh no, maybe that's the the lights on the side off. That's probably lights on the side on. And then maybe that's to the beat of the music or something. Don't actually know what that is. But yeah, either way, they feel they feel so, so good. Especially that bit where around your ears, that's going to be real, real nice. It looks like it's got a breathable bit or maybe that's just for the acoustics or something. But you can see how soft that is. Can't explain how soft that is on my, on my fingers. It's so, so nice. Oh, I forgot to say, just having a look inside of here as well. I haven't actually opened this before. Oh, are they spare or? Oh, that's a different type of material. That's like a, an actual, I want to say cotton, but I don't know. Inside there is still leather. But I guess, I don't know if that's, uh, they probably just directly change if you want a material one rather than the leather or the, the fake leather, whatever it is. And then inside there, manual. Another manual. Uh, <laughs> I'm so confused why there's the connector. Why would that just not be, why would that just not be a USB coming straight from the headphones? And anyway, I don't understand that. But I guess we'll find out and that's the microphone attachment thing. But as you know, I have a, like a professional studio mic. So I won't, I won't necessarily be using that, but obviously a lot of people will. Uh, obviously handy to have as a, as a backup for me. So yeah. And then I think we've got two keyboards. Okay, this one's actually a little bit open. I think this is probably where Marcus has opened it to check what keys, because I believe, I don't really know too much about the Nordic layout, but I think this is one of these, the Nordic layout. So ROG Claymore 2. I mean, we'll open that one in a sec, but what is that one? See, I'm not, too up to date with the different keys because I actually have just a membrane keyboard at the moment. I've actually got a G15, a Logitech G15. So again, I'll have to test these and will I transition over to these because I, I tried changing once. I tried getting a Corsair K95, a really top end expensive one from Corsair. And uh, yeah, I ended up going back to my Logitech. So will I, um, 
Will I transition now and start using the mechanical keyboard? Let's see, so I don't know. Oh, that's the Nordic one. Hopefully you can see that because the screen on the GoPro. Let's just press it a second. Yeah, I think you can see that. So Nordic QWERTY, I don't fully know. Maybe you can see, I don't actually know what the difference is. It looks like the, I can't see anything. That key, what the hell? Oh, you got, is that a function key? Hmm. Might have to compare them side by side to actually see what the difference is. We'll probably open, we'll probably open this UK one. Yeah, I don't fully understand what the difference is. I'm sure I'll find out and I'm sure it'll be pretty big. But this has got the red switches and that one, oh, that one's also got the red switches, it says. Now, yeah, you can get some keys that are like extra sensitive and some keys that are less sensitive. And apparently I can swap the keys on these over as well. I might just open this one actually. I'm guessing it's like, do we even have CDs anymore? That's a good thing. Do you even get CDs? I can't remember the last time I used my CD drive, to be honest. You get drivers all online now. So it looks like no CD some cables and stuff, but this is the keyboard. It feels actually really tiny, but I think this keyboard, it comes with a detachable part, which is in there. So yeah, we'll probably have to do another video with it, with it all lit up and stuff. And the keys, I can't lie, it does feel, it does feel pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I believe this is the detachable keypad. It's keypad, so then you could have that wherever you want. And if we have a look there, you've got one, two, three. So I guess they're for the different profiles. I'm guessing that's for volume or to change next track or, I don't know what that's for actually. Is that different parts? To, no. Yeah, so to be honest, I'm gonna have to brush up on what these different keys mean. All the plastic and stuff. It feels chunky and heavy and good quality like that. That's like metal there, that's like really well put together plastic and the keys all feel super, super nice. Um, I'm trying to race through this, I'm not trying to take up too much time, but this is the Gladius 3. I feel like we should open it. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, it's been a while since I had a uh, wireless, I'm guessing that goes on the motherboard, does it? Because it's been so long since I had anything wireless, like even my ethernet cable to my PC is like 30 meters long, it all go, go, comes from downstairs, from the roof, uh, all through the roof and stuff. But that again, the just the material and stuff, and the, even because it's got the ridges there, the grippiness feels uh, super, super good, and there is good as well. And it doesn't feel like, uh, it's still plastic, but because the grooves are so fine, it actually feels kind of like rubber, but if rubber like got, got wet or over time got greasy or whatever with your hands, that actually feels, it actually feels really good. I just wonder if that's too wide for me actually. It would definitely be an adjustment because when you're playing games at a higher level or competitively, any slight little change, if it's got, it gets wider and stuff, then, um, yeah, it's a big change and it'll throw you off at least for, you wanna play at least 100 games or something before you're anywhere near back to your old level and that's if you, your hand, cause it all depends on your grip. So if your hand can actually optimally, optimally move and stuff at that size. So what else is in there? That's gonna be just the, the wire for charging it. So I'm guessing, don't know exactly where it plugs in. But either way, that feels super, super good. Okay, so I've just raised the desk actually a little bit just because my back was hurting there. I'm so used to sitting in my chair, commentating, speaking into my microphone, but I feel like so out of my comfort zone here, speaking, <laughs> into, <laughs> speaking into a GoPro at a different angle, standing up, recording a video, it's different. So that's the mouse pad. That feels really, really nice. So, so smooth. And even there where it transitions into the, where there's like a print on it or whatever, 
you don't even feel it at all. So if you were to scroll past that, I'm sure it wouldn't, well, I'm 100% sure they've tested that. But yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't affect your gameplay at all. But that looks pretty cool. Super, super stylish. Just the thing is, I think this is the same width as my mouse pad, which is good. But actually the depth, I don't know if that's going to affect me too much. It's actually because my sound recording process and stuff, um, if it's deeper, it's, it, it kind of goes nicely on it. But if it's a little bit short, it kind of... It goes over the edge there and it makes it rock like on a seesaw kind of thing. So yeah, that's the mouse pad. Uh, super good as well. So yeah, that's what was inside the box. For those of you that were wondering on my uh, community post, a massive shout out to Asus. Thank you so much for sending me all this stuff. They didn't need to send me this stuff. They didn't make me send any contract. They didn't have to make this video or anything like that or or show them in any video or any stream or anything like that at all. Usually when companies send you stuff like this, they make you sign a contract to say you've got to do X, Y, Z, but they literally did not do anything. So. Uh, massive shout out to um, Asus and Marcus. Thanks for sending me this. And if you want to think of anything uh, more long term, like uh, sponsoring a stream or something, then you know my email. So, uh, <laughs> so GG. Thanks. Thanks again. And peace out.